Welcome to day one of Rowena Appreciation Week. Yay! I have this here. <laughs> pretend, pretend that's the uh, Team Free Will cheering their girl on. Um, so I know that I was going to be wearing a wig, and I was also going to be wearing a sparkly top. Unfortunately, my wig has been buried in storage. Um, I put it away with all of my costumes to take out uh, in October, and I realized that I had not taken it out to air it or anything, so I will get that done. Unfortunately, this morning I do not have any time. Um, I have some stuff job-related to get done, and then I have plans today, so I will have to do that later. Um, let's see here. Beginning the theme, um, Rowena Appreciation Week Day one, the theme is, drum roll, favorite episode! Yay! <laughs> um, okay, so favorite episode, oh guys, this is a no brainer because it is not only my favorite Rowena episode, it is my favorite episode of all time, and that is season 12 episode 11, Regarding Dean. I love this episode, guys. I mean, it is just so good. There's so much in it to offer for the fans. It was one of the episodes that I chose to show my mom when she wanted to kind of give the show a shot. She loved it. It just perfectly captures the dynamic of the brothers and the dynamic of Rowena and the brothers. Yes, I'm just lying in bed. <laughs> um, it's just something I love, absolutely love about the episode. And just to give you a good snippet of how much I love this episode, one, I, um, I, whenever I try to think about the episode and come up with reasons why I love it, I just come up with more and more reasons. Like, as I was watching it again, I didn't have to. I just really wanted to. <laughs> Uh, as I was watching it again, I came up with more reasons as to why I absolutely love this episode. And then there was the fact that when I had to delete some of the episodes on my phone due to data, I could not delete this one. This is the only one I couldn't delete. And up until this episode, I did not have a favorite episode of Supernatural. But this was just my ultimate favorite and my ultimate favorite episode of Rowena. It is the reason I fell in love with Rowena. I always liked Rowena as a character. I always thought she was really funny. I always loved her dynamic with the boys. It was different from the normal dynamic. She was... I like to consider her one of the first anti-heroes of the show. I know that there were a few others, but the others kind of went places that she never went. She never harmed the boys' friends, people that they loved. I know she harmed Cass in season 11, but I still kind of consider him one of the boys. So I mean to say like nobody outside of the circle. She always just kind of picked on them. And I always thought that that was really interesting. But this was the episode where she was really showing that she wanted to change. This was showing her redemption. And it was so good. And there were a lot of plot lines that I thought were going to go other places in later seasons and later episodes and they didn't which was kind of a bummer but I'm hoping that maybe they'll be used again. Uh, I'm not going to review the episode because the that would take a little while. Um, I would say I'm just going to tell you why I love the episode and the first is Jensen Ackles performance. Oh my gosh. His performance was so good. It made my mom cry. It made me cry. At the time, my my grandmother was suffering dementia, and we just felt like we were looking at her into a mirror at her when he was looking in the mirror and trying to remember who he was. Uh, there were so many moments where we were laughing and just enjoying his performance, how funny he was, and then the next minute, you become so emotional. His dynamic with Sam and his dynamic with Rowena, his dynamic with the villains was just amazing. It was so much fun. And it was also just hilarious. It was it was really funny watching him, you know, 
you know, so when he couldn't remember who he was, that got really sad. But at first, you know, he couldn't remember he was a hunter and Sam was telling him about it. And he was like, oh, that's so cool. That's awesome. <laughs> and then, you know, trying to drive the car, he crashes baby. <laughs> he doesn't remember which motel room they're staying in. And of course, when he opens the door instead of, you know, pulling out his gun like they normally are supposed to. And Sam's like, you don't just open the door. We don't do that. We aren't able to just do that. And he opens the door and there's Rowena and he like has no idea who she is. And his dynamic with her was so funny. It was just amazing. Uh, number two, just the brotherly love in this episode was so good. I mean, just that moment where Sam goes, brother, witch, and Dean, who has no memory of anything and by this point can't even talk like knows exactly what that means it's just so cool I mean like he he totally knew who Sam was I, this is a bond that cannot be broken by anything it's so sweet I love that um another thing the scenery oh my gosh guys um this didn't come out in October this episode didn't air in October I don't I don't think it did no no it didn't air in October um but I Consider it the Halloween episode of season 12 because boy did it have such a cool autumn Halloween feel to it. The, it took place in the woods and I love the woods. It, there was a witch house that was so gorgeous and haunting and so fun. Uh, the, just, just the scenery and the lighting was perfect for this episode. It really set me in the, in the mood for the episode. And, and it, it's, it's become one of my favorite episodes in general, but also one of my favorite show or episodes to watch during Halloween when I watch my favorite Halloween episodes of shows or, um, there's a gnat in my room during Rowena Appreciation Week. So rude. So rude. Do you have anything to say nice about Rowena? Get out! Anyways. Um, <laughs> that was random. <laughs> I don't even know where that came from. <laughs> it's early. Um, so anyways. She, uh, she? No. It, the episode in general, this is going off the rails. <laughs> the episode in general is just so beautiful. It, it just, the, the, the backdrop, the scenery, the costumes, even the motel room was a little more spacious and welcoming than their normal motel rooms. And their motel rooms are always fun and it's always fun to see like how they're decorated and everything. But this one was particularly like the lighting and everything was just really nice. Like I would love to stay in that motel room. It was really nice. So it was, it was just, oh, so good. Um, and then of course, last but not least, Rowena was one of the best things of this episode. Her her dynamic with the boys, once again, spot on. I, I loved how they, she shared scenes with the boys. She usually does. Um, that changed in, in the next season, which was kind of a bummer. But she usually shared scenes with them, where she would have a scene with Sam, and then she would have a scene with Dean, and it was always really fun what she would do with each one of them. And this this episode was just perfect for that. I mean, she didn't she didn't lie to them, first of all. She wasn't lying to them. She wasn't deceiving them. She was flat out about why she was there. I mean, she did want to help Dean, which was really cool that she actually did want to help. But more importantly, she wanted the grimoire, which isn't an evil intention. It's not it's not deceitful. It's not betrayal. She's just wanting the book and you know later that book does come in handy and we find out exactly what it's used for one of the one of the plot lines that did kind of go somewhere with this episode um what didn't though unfortunately was her relationship with dean in this episode um it just just the scene where she's kind of opening up about how like the difference between the two of them like why he does what he does when he felt like you know it doesn't it doesn't justify it and she has this really nice conversation with him about her redemption and how she wants redemption. And she poured her heart out to him under the impression that he wasn't going to remember. And I instantly thought, like, writers, <laughs> make him remember! Like, this is perfect! This is a great opportunity for the two of them to bond, for him to see her differently. And then in later seasons, you know, they can form off of that or he'll admit that he remembers and I thought that was going to happen when she came back in season 13 unfortunately it did not but you know what maybe season 14 will bring it back maybe it won't maybe it's just a, a tale for fan fiction but it was really cool and oh my gosh their interactions were so funny just how she had to practically like babysit him 
and he's wandering around the little witch circle and and like picking up potions and she's popping them on the hand <laughs> like or as Debbie and I like to say slapping his hand um that was so funny, and then, you know, she's like, stop touching everything, and he's like, sorry, and then, like, he forgets, and he's like, ooh, and he, like, grabs it again, and she pops him again, and she hands him a doll to play with, and he's poking the eyes, and she's telling him, you know, her story, which was also really cool about this episode, is how it tied into her past. Again, another plot line that didn't really go anywhere. I mean, she did mention she she had been aware of the British Men of Letters. Uh, she was once on the run from them. Uh, we later find out she was captured. We thought that plot line was going to go somewhere. It really didn't. We thought it was going to. It was brought up again in season 13, but it really didn't go anywhere. We'll see if it does in season 14, but I don't know how that's going to work with some of the things they did in 13, but we'll see what happens. Maybe it will. I would hope so because it was really interesting because it turns out the villains of this episode knew her and they treated her like dirt. They were really mean to her. And uh, I love the scene where she tells Dean that, you know, she said they told her that she wasn't up to snuff. And, you know, he's just like, well, I think those guys are dicks. You got plenty of snuff. And it's, like, really sweet. Um, I'm not going to tell you guys my favorite scene of the episode because that is my favorite scene of Rowena. And that ties into another day. Uh, but I will say that it's definitely, uh, it was a little harder for me to decide what my favorite scene was with Rowena because there's so many good ones. But then I decided that this was definitely the scene that I always think about and I absolutely love. So I won't, I won't go into that. But I will say that this episode will forever be my favorite one unless 14 comes up with something. Uh, lightning has not yet struck twice. Uh, there has not been an episode like it. That's okay if there hasn't. But I, I do hope that an episode does come up later that has the heart that this one did, especially between the boys and Rowena. There was just this bond that unfortunately didn't go anywhere in season 13. It kind of did, kind of didn't. It was kind of a bummer what what kind of happened with, with the dynamic of the boys and Rowena in season 13. Season 12, it felt like things were going somewhere. And let's hope season 14 goes in that direction. I'm I'm super excited to see what uh, the writers have in, in season 14, as hesitant as I was at first. Rowena Appreciation Week has made me excited for it. So. <laughs> uh, so that is my favorite episode for Rowena Appreciation Week, day one. But it's not over. I'm still going to be celebrating throughout the day, looking at all of your cool artwork and your stories and your songs and all the different things that you guys have in store. I'm so excited. If any of you who are watching this video want to participate, I have a Rowena Appreciation Week announcement video that has the link below. Go ahead and click it. It'll give you all the rules and the different themes of each day. In the meantime, I will see you guys in the next video. That is not a cop off of Jacksepticeye. <laughs> I'm actually going to be doing another video tonight for my sequels month. So I'll see you guys then. Love you. Bye.